rising, everyone. <laughs> to for my first time viewers, welcome. My name is Joseph Long, and I thank you for choosing this platform. To all my returning viewers, hello, friends, and thank you for your support. I would like to start you off with an excerpt from today's Daily Word message, and it is titled, I Accept the Fullness of My Healing. With every breath, you send life-sustaining oxygen to your body. Even without your conscious direction, each cell functions according to its purpose. Some cells work to keep your heart beating, while others help you breathe or feel sensations through your skin. No matter their purpose, all are aspects of the divine pattern that aids your body's healing and its return to wholeness. Today, I would like to guide you in the meditation with the intention to cultivate your healing. Doing this practice, yield to the natural process of your healing with deep faith and perfect trust. Feel the love of God blessing your body and mind as you breathe softly and slowly. May your awareness of the common assurance of spirit fill your mind and your heart. All right, I see you, Miss Pat. Welcome back. Grand Rising to you. Thank you for tuning in on Instagram. I'm showing two people live on Facebook, but I can't see you, but know that I am grateful that you are able to tune in this early or this late, depending on where you are on this platform, joining collective consciousness with me and know that means a lot to me. So let us begin. Now sit or lie in a comfortable position. You can either close your eyes or bring your focus down. We're not focusing on anything in particular. What they call a soft gaze. and allow your body to, re to be relaxed and to be still. Allow the muscles to soften and lengthen. Notice any sensations that arise anywhere in the body. Acknowledge these, ask what they need, pay attention. Avoid any judgment, just stay aware and sensitive to the messages your body sends. Bring the focus of your awareness to your breathing. Notice the depth and pace of your breathing. Allow your breath to become slower, softer, and deeper. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Allow the abdominal area to rise as you inhale and fall as you exhale. Inhale and feel the breath traveling down 
to the abdomen. Exhale and feel the breath flowing upwards and out the body. Stay connected to the sensations and feelings in the body. Give permission for the body to relax and let go. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in harmony. Breathe out Discord. Breathe in healing. Breathe out dis ease. Stay focused on the breath. Allow the breath to become slower and deeper. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in harmony. Breathe out discord. Breathe in healing. Breathe out dis-ease. Release all self-judgment and criticism. Focus on breathing in joy and love. Focus on allowing the body to heal. Allow the thoughts to assist healing. Release and let go of any blocks to well-being. Allow yourself to sigh and let go. Focus on slower, deeper breathing. Release all self-judgment and criticism. Breathe in love. Breathe out tension. Breathe in harmony. Breathe out discord. Breathe in healing. Breathe out dis-ease. Allow your body to be silent and still. Allow the body to share what it needs to heal. With every breath, allow the body to relax further. Allow a feeling of relaxation and calm to spread through your whole body. Be here and now.
allow the body and mind to flow together, creating a sense of peace and well-being. Now, when you feel ready, slowly open your eyes. Remaining in a relaxed state, I would like for us to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. With gratitude, accept the fullness of your healing at all levels of your being. Physical, emotional, spiritual. If you can accept that right now, then be thankful for being able to detach yourself from the busy world. From your pain. From your stress even just for a brief moment. Namaste. I don't know what it is. Facebook have this these moments where it shows me people on, but it doesn't let me physically see who you are. So I see two additional people came on live. Know that I'm grateful for you. Grand rising to you. All right. Oh, how do you all feel after that practice? If this meditation helped you in any way, just let me know. I don't care for the details. If you want to share that, that's gravy, but it's not necessary. I just want to know if this practice was beneficial to, to anyone. If it did, if it was, know that you can go into this relaxing state anytime you want to. Anytime your body is not expressing wholeness. Anytime you might be feeling stressed, I can testify to you the power of meditation, I, the power of focusing on the breath. For I believe that by me starting meditation over a year ago, adding meditation into my daily routine, that I'm not as stressed as I was over a year ago. And I'm not going to go into details, you guys, who've been following me from almost a year ago or from the beginning, know from what place I've come from and which has motivated this, prep, this platform. I believe by being with you every morning that I am healthy on the most part, I contribute, that it contributed to me being alive today. And I'm not just being over the top. I'm being real with you this morning. That you inspiring me to come on day in and day out, even when I don't feel like it. This platform keeps me alive. It keeps me feeling that I am living my purpose, being purposeful and intentional. And for this, I am grateful. So if any part of today's message or meditation resonated with you, click on the like button, comment, 
and share. Thank you, Brother Leroy, for stepping out there and just talking to me. And if it hasn't, that's fine, too. I'm still grateful that you uh, still, that you have gone through the practice, that you, stay, that you stuck through this. So, but thank you, Leroy, for saying, for, for your feedback. Yes, beneficial with the prayer emoji. I appreciate you. And you don't know it, but you inspire me when you and I see you day in and day out for many reasons. But I'm just going to throw it out there. You being a male is one of it. Because I've noticed spirituality seems to be acceptable through the female persuasion. But something about us males, we do not openly embrace this or let or be public about it. So to see that you come in day in and day out is inspirational to me. And I thank you for that, my brother. Thank you, Miss Valdine. I see you, Grand Rising, to you. Thank you for touching and agreeing this morning. And don't forget, if you haven't done so, mark your calendars. You can join me and the good friend Jordana Forrest, a.k.a. Echo, July 23rd. For some reason, when I gave her that date for us to do this event, I was thinking it was a Saturday. But it's this Friday on Instagram at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you follow either one of us on Instagram so you receive, so you will receive notifications when we go on live. Yes, I'm talking about a collaboration event happening this Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live on Instagram. As I stated, this is a collaborative, collaborative event when, where I will be guiding you in the meditation and Jordana will be incorporating affirmations. The theme will be following your dreams. Speaking of dreams, my newest social, social media platform, TikTok, is growing like no other. As of yesterday, I have exceeded a thousand followers, which means that I can now go live on that pl platform. Now, this is this is this is profound to me. This is exciting to me, for a lack of better words, because I'm really beyond excitement. Because when I started TikTok, I started TikTok due to a reference from a friend of mine. He felt that I should just go on TikTok, that TikTok was the thing for me. I never heard of TikTok when I started on there. I had no expectations. I just did what he said. I posted um, videos of me singing. That didn't really go anywhere. But as I, I mentioned, told you guys this story before, February when I started my Black History, um, History Facts, then my following started just boomed out of nowhere. I was getting people following me, maybe 20 new followers per day in the month of February. So someone who started off with 5, 10 followers in a month's time, I got to 600, 700 followers. Then one of my Instagram friends a personal friend, acting friend, started following me on Instagram and was like, Joseph, you need to bring this on TikTok. I started the inspirations and the daily inspirational messages, the meditations on there, and it didn't seem to be, it didn't seem to be received well. But then I started following Jordana on TikTok and she started introducing me to her followers as a meditator. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to start posting, uploading meditation content on there. So she's introducing me on there as a meditator. And, on, and mind you, at that time on TikTok, I had a, most of my content was um, unknown or not well-known black history facts. So I quickly started uploading just clips of me meditating. And then I started seeing that it seemed like in a month, two months time, people started coming on there that were 
big meditators that were into inspirational messages. So now my meditations and my inspirational messages are being received just as well as my black history facts. So I'm sharing that with you just to let you know that this platform is going to the next level. Hashtag next level. And I thank each and every one of you for accompanying me on this journey. Now, with that being stated, don't forget to go into my YouTube channel, Inspirational Moments with Joseph Long, and click the like button on the video there. I will be posting this video shortly on that YouTube platform. Now, I've been telling you guys, it's happening soon. I'm foreseeing and I'm throwing this out there. And by me throwing, out, throwing it out there, it's going to force me to do this. Unless something unforeseen happen, like technically that I cannot do this live, I foresee next week, Monday, me starting going on live on YouTube. So I'm encouraging you guys now to make it a practice to go into my YouTube channel, start liking videos on there. Yes, that will help with my algorithms there, but I'm telling you this because I'm concerned that when I start on Monday, it's going to be a rough transition for some of you. So yes, make it a practice now. Doing it now will give you four or five days in practice. So when Monday, when I discontinue, when not discontinue, but when I stop the, when I decrease the frequency of going live on Facebook, you will be able to easily transition to me going live on a daily basis on YouTube and Instagram. All right? Does that make sense? Can someone give me the thumbs up or tell me they understand or whatever? If not, I could, I could bring it down for you plain as what I'm stating. Thank you, Miss Pat. Miss Pat is on Facebook and Instagram. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. All right. And also, if you haven't subscribed on that YouTube channel, speaking of my YouTube channel, please do so. That's the only way you're going to be able to come on live with me starting next week. And make sure your notifications are set so when I go on live, you will be notified again on YouTube. There will be a guided meditation this evening at 9.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all again for joining me today for this experience. I love you and I appreciate you more than you know. Peace and blessings.